Hello, today is April 12th, 2021, and I'm going to be reading on the case of Lashia Stein, who was a 16-year-old um, girl that went missing in 2016. Um, she snuck out, and in the early, early hours of Friday, July 15th, 2016, and there was um, some CCTV footage of her out walking on her own uh, along the street, along the road, but she's never been heard or, or seen since. And the concern is that she has been trafficked. Um, over the years, it says her family received multiple tips and I'm reading from the disappearance of Lashia Stein, the Trace Evidence. Very good podcast. If you don't follow it, you might be interested. Um, while witnesses claim to have seen Lashia over the years since she's been missing, others claim to know her assailant. Um, she has yet to be found and her captor has never been directly identified. So we just want to take a look and see what we can pick up, what the universe and the Creator are willing to share with us um, as something that would be important for us to know with regard to Lashia's case. And so I'm just getting a, gonna, going to dial in I'm going to see also if I can find Lashia's birthday. Okay, Lashia was living in Aurora, Colorado, and some there's a little bit of a, a difference. Some say it was early morning hours of July 15th rather than the 16th, but I think that that's kind of typical with these things. They, there's always a little difference from, from story to story. Um, anyway, she was uh, said to be smart and kind and ready to graduate from uh, high school and go to nursing school. She was on the honor roll at uh, George Washington High School and she was in, accepted into an intern program and had a job interview lined up at 1 p.m. on the day that she went missing. But Lashia was also described as sheltered and naive. Her mother, Sabrina Jones, said of Lashia, she is more naive than most. I know my daughter, and she would be easy to control and manipulate, and that's why her mother thinks that she was lured from her family home in July of 2016 and has not been heard from since. So about the surveillance footage that of her walking, she was seen walking near a bus stop in the 1600 block of North Peoria Street, uh, Peoria Street at 2.23 a.m. Okay, so when her brother went to wake her up to make sure she was going to get ready for her job interview, that's when she was discovered missing. And a check of her bedroom showed that her window was unlocked, which led her mom to believe that that's the way that she exited. Um, but she also believes that her daughter was going to come home because she didn't have any extra clothes or her wallet and there was also a flower pot underneath the window outside of Lashia's bedroom which her mother thinks Lashia may have used in a failed attempt to get back into the house but nothing is known for certain. She was written off as a runaway by the police and the family had to do all of the legwork, it says, with media accounts, um, and, I'm sorry, with, with getting, you know, in touch with the media 
and following up. Um, they checked her, her social media accounts and there was nothing out of the ordinary, but her mother's adamant that Lashaya went to meet someone and has not been allowed to return home. Any tips that Lashaya's mother's received are that she has been sex trafficked. And many um, callers also point to a man that they're too afraid to identify. Okay, so let's just take a look and see what the cards have to say. And I'm also going to put this on pause and see if I can find her birth date. Okay, Lashaya's birthday is February 8th, so she would be an Aquarius. So let's just take a look and see what we get. Now she was 16 in 2016 when she went missing, I left her home, and that's five years ago. So let's just take a look and see what the tarot has to say with regard to her. So I'm asking the Creator and the universe to please guide me in my reading to make sure I read accurately and clearly and that um, we know whether how Lashaya is and whether or not she would be coming home soon. Let's just, what can the tarot tell us about Lashaya's life right now that we need to know and whether or not she will be able to get home somehow. So let's look at Lashaya. I'm going to try and dial into her. Her birth date is February 7th, 2000. Lashaya Stein. So she would be a knight of swords, quite possibly, as a teen, but she might because she is so, um, as her mother put it, naive. She might even come up as a page. So that's just a thought. Just take a look and see what the cards, what the universe, the creator has to say with regard to Lashaya Stein. I'm going to do a Celtic cross. All right. What's covering Lashaya is judgment. And covering her, this means the choices that she's made, for better or for worse. And realizing now more than she did ever before, um, it's like a maturation of awareness and where you realize and you see things you didn't see before. And she was very young, so at this point, five years on, at the age of, she would be 21, around 21 right now, I think that she's seen enough that it indicates also that um, she has wised up considerably than she was when she initially left. Okay, that's what that's indicating to me, covering her at the present time. What's crossing her is the hermit. And I think, you know, it can be the challenge that's crossing her. But I, I believe it's wanting to get away and just, 
I feel like get away from from all the people that are, are looking for her and more to the point I believe the people that have taken advantage of her over these years for, uh, for so far I'm still feeling that she is living but let's just carry on and I don't mean to be insensitive I don't like to read anything um, salacious so if I see anything um, I keep it I keep it honest but I don't go into really grotesque detail I don't and you know unless it's necessary so I'm not getting anything yet to indicate that she has passed um, eight of pentacles I believe somebody lured her and I did a quick prelim reading on her the other night and I got this too with the eight, uh, the eight of pentacles I think somebody lured her with the promise of work and the promise of being able to make money and she may have thought well this is just a quick um, job I'll be able to go and do this and uh, earn some money to have to tide me over and I, then I'll go on to my job interview so I'm really feeling like this is looking at work and that's where her head was and that's why I believe that she left um, the Emperor okay that's interesting what crowns her is an authority figure and father husband but also this can be authority like government like police we'll just pull some more cards and see what comes around it it could actually be her father that she's thinking of um, there's it's I mean it's really strong could have also been that it, it was an older man that said that lured her with the promise of this eight of um, pentacles here with work that had promise and, and potential to earn more if she got better at it so I think that she was lured on the, with the promise of some kind of of good paying job Ace of Pentacles again the job thing this is about somebody lured her on the pretense of work and like this would be a gig or this would be an offer to work a job offer I think someone lured her like I said with the prospect of work only she wasn't expecting that it was going to be I think the kind of work that it probably is cough cough now in the near future she gets the moon so this is the remaining hidden remaining undercover remaining in a mysterious way not being it's there's a lack of clarity I also feel like she has shifted from working uh, and living in a more I meant to say more living in a way that is more forthright this is a very hidden uh, it feels very shadowy it, it feels um, like this work is what it is which is not good and illegal I don't think she makes very much money I think any money that she makes is taken I think she's ne never seen much money and she's just yeah I do believe she's trafficked 
Ten of Cups. I think someone promised her love and affection. And, hey, we'll be together. I really do. I think they promised her a lot of really wonderful things that would sound like music to a 16-year-old girl's ears. And this sense of connection and, and happiness. So I think that's what she was expecting. Sounds like she was groomed. Six of Wands. This is travel, and I feel like as this is in her environment area, I feel like she's been taken out of that environment and taken further afield. Maybe even out of state from where she was, because this Six of Wands to me feels like she's been definitely trafficked and I feel out of state. But I also believe she has been moved around. I just got a flash of that. That it's not just been one other state, but I think that she has been moved to various other places throughout these five years. In the hopes and fears is the Two of Swords. And to me, this just shows me somebody that's so afraid, they're afraid to make one move forward or backward. So they just are still I think she feels helpless, and I think she doesn't sadly have a lot of... Look how bad my nail polish... Sorry about that. But unfortunately, I don't think she has a lot of hope. I think she's just kind of resigned in a numb fashion for the moment. The final end result card for her is the Queen of Cups. So this is a card of, of feminine energy, compassion, um, sensitivity, and nurturing, typically. Let's pull a couple extra cards with that Queen of Cups. We have the Page of Wands. Hang on to anything. I feel like this is a mother that's looking for her or a woman. Maybe this is her mama. Her mama. Or a, a family member, loved one. But an adult female and possibly of a water sign. Two of Pentacles. I just feel like this person's going to continue for the long term to look for her. And I feel like this is juggling. This is something that they do in addition to trying to live their everyday life and keep looking for her. I don't I just don't see them this female figure is giving up on looking for her. And that's because the three of swords. This is the cause of heartbreak, of division. She's been taken from them. So this is that sense of separation from someone that you love. And in this case, it's because she was lured and tricked. Knight of Pentacles. So this looks like Again, the feeling of somebody that is dutiful, that will not give up searching for her, um, that misses her. And the Ace, oh, I'm sorry, the Nine of Wands. So, I feel like we're talking about her mother. 
as well, I think, as herself. And I think she misses be, uh, her family. I, I do think that. I think she misses the life she had. Um, but I think she also feels somewhat helpless to get away from the situation she's in. And I think that she has tried, she's keeping to the hope that, that at some point she's going to have that opportunity to get away. I think she's tried before. And I think she's been smacked around for it. I do. In the future, further into the future, she's going to be looking and ha because she will have, with the Wheel of Fortune, opportunity. And that's double accented with the Two of Wands. Opportunity to get away. Opportunity to, I think, take action. To get back or get away from who's ever holding her. I'm not getting any cards of death yet. Nothing that makes me feel at all that she is no longer uh, with us. I'm, I'm not getting one card of that, which I'm kind of surprised because honestly, I usually, with people that, that do this, this is it, yeah, you know, it's it's not a good situation. And a lot of people don't survive, but she's survived. And I mean, like I've gone into the the basic cards and into further down the road. She's she. I firmly believe that she's still alive, and looking and waiting for this opportunity, this time that looks like it comes here, a little bit further down the road into the future, into this year, that she would be able to have an opportunity to get away. There is justice, getting the law, getting the law's attention, and the page of swords. So she definitely is looking to how, how she can alert them or how she can, I feel like, get their help because People have said they think that somebody that is pimping her may have insight into when the police are going to come look for her because they always, I, I was reading, they always felt like um, from where she had been, she's like been reported as being seen, she disappears. Or I've, I've been reading this about her, her case, so... I think this is the matter of making sure that she gets hold of justice that can help her and assist her. She's watchful. The lovers and the star. She is maintaining hope and that is what is keeping her alive. Hope. Um, that she will get that opportunity and that somebody will be able to help her or assist her. Um, and I think that if she's aware that she's aware that she's been looked for, she's aware, but it's about the right person trusting the right person also to help her. And she has high profile spotlight on her here. Four of Cups. She's had to wait. This is her. Queen of Swords now. Biding her time. Um, I think apathetic. I think she's again it goes back and forth where she occasionally, I think she gets a lot of hope, and then I think 
it pitches the other way where I think she gets very down. But at the end of the day, she's still, she's still kind of waiting to be helped, waiting to get the opportunity to get away. I feel like she looks at her past with a great deal of nostalgia and she realizes how good she had it with that nine of pentacles but I think that's where she goes when things are difficult for her which is I think quite often that lifestyle is very difficult so I think she kind of goes into the nostalgia with the Six of Cups into the past and into memories of the past and thinking of how well that life was for her, how much better it was. Um, Nine of Cups and Ace of Wands. There's a new beginning of taking activity and with the Nine of Cups, it, it has to do with, I think, indulgence or pleasure. I think it's how she deals with doing the work, the sex work, because I do think that that is unfortunately what she's been pulled into doing. She may have even um, no, I think she was lured by a male. This here looks like we're dealing with a female, and this is a um, some sort of offer. Could be that there's a female that may make an offer to her to help her. I'm not really clear. Could also be someone making an appeal. Again, a family member. But I get temperance in the King of Wands. So I feel like there is a male fire sign that might be holding her. And it could be that in the future, there could be some lack of attention. That is why we're getting the temperance. Yeah. And I feel like maybe his hold on her will finally uh, let release. She may come forward then with the world and like here I am and having been through a, a painful number of years I think it could be up to 10 I really do there's something that's but it could be before then as well but I think it could be around or closer to the 10 year mark of maybe her going missing that she might reappear with that world card. And I, I feel like she would be probably in, in need of care, in need of help or assistance medically, because I'm feeling like what she's been through has not been good for her mentally and physically there she could just need some care ah, mystical moments. the devil and the six of pentacles yeah i think this is with drugs and substance i think they drugged her and i think that's one of the ways that they what they do to people that they traffic it's not unusual 
get them hooked on drugs and I think that's what we've got going on here with the devil and then the, the sex work and oppressive work and I, I feel like she needs definitely she needs help she needs somebody to, to help her get out from that circumstance I'm just feeling like down in time she's going to eventually have that moment, but she doesn't seem to care, so I don't really know what will happen there. That might change. Three of Cups and Six of Swords. Yeah, this would be movement. Socially, socializing. And I feel like movement to another location. So I, I feel like one man's hold on her is going to slip in the future. But the problem is the drug addiction that she's left with. And I think she may not want to come forward initially with until she gets that better under control here. Yeah, there's a tremendous amount of pressure she feels and she feels like she's she's trapped, like she's stuck. Despite the fact, you know, I'm, I'm sure the addiction and the trauma that she's been through since 2016 is tremendous. And it, it doesn't make her want to come out. But the sun and the ten of pentacles, I think her family will persist. And I, I, I think they may find her with the sun and the ten of pentacles. Yeah, new start. And the Ace of Cups, there's a lot of emotion. I think she could be reunited with her family at some point later down the road. I do think she's dealing with addiction and damage that, if you will, living the lifestyle she's lived since she's left has brought upon her. I feel like there's a great deal. Of, I, I think her family will be sad for what she's been through and for the the care that she's going, going to need. I also feel hmm let's see let's pull a couple more Empress and the Knight of Wands. I feel like that is the, her mother. Her mother comes in really, really strongly. This could be an uncle. This could be a, another family member. But I just see that they feel so sad. Um, and I, this is definitely her naivete. And I, I just feel like she has a great deal of support and love from her family. And her mother is in the picture taking action. Two of Cups and the Four of Swords to bring to try to bring about more peace of mind and and um, balance. Yeah, definitely wanting to take action. So that's what I'm getting for right now. I think that's quite a long reading. In, I'm not saying anything in the near future, 
but I am seeing things further down the line that look to me like she's going to be looking for an opportunity um, to escape. But I also see at times she gets down and I think she kind of just gives up. So I feel like her mood changes. That would make sense. The odd thing is I'm, I've got no cards that made me feel that she is deceased, which I'm kind of surprised by. As I said, it isn't unusual, unfortunately, for me to get cards like that in these cases, but I don't get that with her. I definitely think that she has been trafficked and feels stuck and, and needs help. So I really hope that the police will be able to help her soon. So I'll leave the reading there. If you enjoy my content, please like and subscribe and double check that you are. <laughs> and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.